Hello, this is Daniel Martin. Today I'm going to be doing another episode review. This is going to be for episode 9 of season 1 of Scorpion Rogue Element. So yeah, but before I begin though, 10 second spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually um, watch the episode and haven't already, stop the video, go check it out and then come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 second spoiler warning as usual starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already, um, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I never gave you a fair warning, because as usual, I did. So yeah, but before I actually begin on the review though, I kind of want to point out that I finally put the posters behind me. If you saw my latest poster update haul, um, you notice I got a couple posters, and here are some of them. Um, Transformers right there in the background. Um, Original Sin, Boston from the band. So yeah, just to give you a kind of an idea, the other ones are on this side of the wall. Um, quick quick view on them. Some probably seen some of these posters in previous videos, some of the new ones. So yeah, just to give you an idea. And yeah, now now to the actual review. Now, um as usual quick synopsis, likes and dislikes <clears throat> and then the rates. So so yeah. Um basically in this episode you have agent uh you have Cabe, you know, Gallo, you have the agent and basically what's happening is that his ex wife, um his ex wife is being attacked because she knows some information that she shouldn't be knowing. So, you know, the ex wife is getting attacked, and Gallo is trying to protect the ex wife because he still has feelings for her. And the only reason they ever broke up, they split up, was because of the death of their child. And Gallo kind of went away um, um, on a job and missions. And when in reality, he just, he just really went away to, in hopes of stopping the pain and suffering, but it just got worse. And after a while, they got divorced, and now they're ex-wife, you know, ex-husband, ex-wives. So yeah, now you know they kind of reunite, um, saying that you know they can always trust on each other, even though even though they kind of had the falling out with the child, or the child died, and then falling out happened shortly after. But still, um, you know they um do draw some parallels between Walter and Gallo, and and apparently how Gallo and his former child, more or less, how they were treated, both of them. You want to draw some parallels. I did like how the how the wife Rebecca, she kind of drew the parallels. You know, she kind of told um, she kind of told Walter to take care of Gallo and Gallo. You know, the same thing. Gallo take care care of um, Walter. Um, basically the real. For, I think for the first time in like a few episodes, this is the first episode where we haven't seen a um like a master like a huge genius level type person. Um, really, it's just a bunch of people who are. Like politicians trying to get their, trying to get their way, and then this one politician being the ex-wife, um, you know, she's the ex-wife, she's the main center of the episode. Um, she basically ran to some information that she didn't want to obtain, and now she has to try to make everything right, arrest the people she, you know, she did, you know, arrest the people, and see where she goes from there. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty interesting episode. Not the best episode in the series, but it was good. Um, I did like the father-son comparison comparison between Gallo and Walter, because that's a thing we've seen throughout the whole series, um, so far or so so far. Um, so it is pretty interesting to see it um develop um a bit more full in this episode. Um, I also did like how um Drew and Ralph was his name, yeah, Ralph. Um, I did like how Drew and Ralph kind of um. Kind of, um, I did like how Drew and Ralph kind of also bonded a bit in the episode. They were seen maybe two or three times throughout the episode. Um, but you could see how Ralph is starting to warm up to his father. Though, Drew kind of has a weird ass character development, uh, because he's a former baseball player. And now he, apparently, uh, before coming to Ralph, he auditioned to be on, on a, on a baseball team. Um, and I guess he got the job, but now he doesn't know if he should accept it or be with Ralph. So now there's that dilemma. He kind of asks Walter for help. You know, what should I do? And Walter, he doesn't really know what to do because he understands that Ralph needs a father figure, but he he like he thinks that he's a better father figure than Drew. But you know, Drew is the actual father, so he has like that midlife crisis dilemma to deal with. So that was pretty interesting. Um, I do like how Walter and Drew kind of confi um you know have confidence within each other. You know, to take care of Ralph and you know have these kind of situations, these decisions that they could kind of entrust within, within each other, so that was also pretty good. I mean, again, I mean, the only thing is that was, I guess it was a slow pace, um, a bit more slow pace than 
what I'm used to, so it wasn't as good. Um, but you know, overall, it was a pretty good episode. Um, do check it out if you haven't already. I mean, the only negative is that it's not since it's not up to the level of the previous episode. It's not as exciting, not as hard hitting. Um, it kind of kind of falters a bit in that aspect because it doesn't really compare well to the rest of the episodes. But but as a standalone episode, it is pretty well done in my opinion, and I do recommend you checking it out if you haven't already. I mean, the acting is good and the writing is good as well, so that there's another thing for you too. Um, <clears throat> and yeah. That's basically it for this review. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent. I give this episode a 7 out of 10. Pretty good episode. Definitely do check it out. And yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe if not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. So definitely do stay tuned for that. Besides that, comment down below on your thoughts on this episode. What do you think about it? I'll comment all that down below. Let me know. Besides that, like the episode, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mark signing off.